Hello my friends and welcome to Open Studio. Give me a second. Open Studio D. How you like it? <laughs> I love it. But anyway, uh, I just took a small break from uh, shooting the videos. I promise, you know, shoot at least one video a week. But I was exhausted after uh, my coastal plein air uh, competition and I just took a short break. But yesterday I decided, you know what, enough is enough, so let's go to back, I mean, to normal schedule. So we are back in normal schedule. And today uh, we're going to talk about, uh, about what? We're going to talk about the question that a lot of people were asking by, you know, after watching uh, those five days of painting and a lot of people were sending me emails and you know from my website contacts from my i mean from my page from the contact page of, from my website asking about the panels how to make how i'm making panels my own boards or panels and what materials i'm using and all all this stuff around so today we're going to talk about how to make your own panels what materials to use and how to make them Here we go. So we're going to talk about panels, how to make your own panels. So what is the benefit of making your own panels? Are you saving some money uh, by making panels? Um, you know, yes and no. Uh, first of all, yes, if you calculate just the prices, how much you're paying for an actual uh, board and for linen and for glue and for whatever materials do you need. Uh, yes, you're saving a couple of bucks. If you put time, you're going to spend uh, making those panels no and you know what i forgot to turn my phone are you going to save some money no probably not but you may ask questions so why then in the world i have to do my own panels what are the benefits of making your own panels so here's the benefit of making your own panel first of all you're not limited when you are going somewhere especially actually it really doesn't matter in the studio or if you're going somewhere uh, on plain air competition or competitions you are not limited by whatever panels you have so basically when you go into competition you are limited with the panels the size of the panels and then matching frames all right so uh, restriction on panels the sizes of the panels to and equal to the restrictions on the frames that you have that you're taking with you to competitions. Now, if you have something like this, something like this, this is the gator board that I'm gonna show you how to make your panel from or with. Uh, you have this, this is 18 by 24, and you can cut any sizes you want. You know, your own limitations, you cannot cut 36 if you <laughs> the longest side is only 24 right uh, so but within the 18 by 24 you can cut any sizes for any frames that you have for example if I, when I'm going to uh, competitions I've just grabbed I have actually I'm going next week I'm going to next one so I have actually I just received a bundle of the frames from a framing company that I'm buying from I'm gonna. I'm not even going to even unframe. I mean, unwrap it. I'm just gonna take this, put it in my uh, in my car, and I will take a bunch of this panels with me, and then I, I'm gonna unwrap and I will decide. Okay, so uh, what I'm painting today? I'm painting nine by twelve. Great. I look in my uh, bundle of my uh, frames or all my frames that I have. I will find nine by twelve. So what I have to do? Easy. I don't have to go to my panels and look for 9 by 12 and then, oh my, I forgot 9 by 12 and what I'm gonna do, I have all this frame and I cannot use this frame. With this, you can. Any frames you have in your possession, in your studio, you can take take the panel, big, you know, big 18 by 24 panel and then cut any sizes you want. Is that the benefit? I think it's a huge benefit. All right, so you you basically cutting your limitation of panels uh, to take with you, and normally people will take like you know pile of panels. So uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna paint this, I'm gonna paint this, or they like okay, so I have 
uh, two uh, frames 9 by 12 so I would take two 9 by 12 panels or what if you messed up with the one panel so what are you gonna do so your frame is useless right getting what I'm saying so basically you avoiding or limiting the limit you know, limiting the limitation Wow so you basically just limitation of panels you just completely putting across it it's not with this panels uh, you just take five or six of this boards which you can cut any sizes and you find whatever frames you have you can cut you know if you messed up you just take another one cut it again and paint so that's a huge benefit uh, in the studio the same way let's say you you know you uh, you want to paint something and you need some like specific like, horizontal and it's like oh you know what I don't have it in my studio I have to I have to order it right and it will take a couple days and you're losing that momentum with this I have you know I have a big panels and I can cut any sizes I'm I'm don't have limitations so basically I'm limitless <laughs> um, so this is a huge benefit uh, and you know you're painting constantly on the same surface and you you know you're learning that surface and you custom for this so there is a huge this is another benefit by the way you, you, you knowing your surface that you're painting on um, so Ben is the number two uh, and then controlling you you know the amount of panels you can cut the sizes and everything so in studio or on plain air uh, competitions or just in plain air you're going to you know paint even like if i'm going to paint I'm, i don't take uh you know just six by eight or nine by twelve or whatever i just take the big one i can cut it all you need just a knife and and metal wooden uh, piece uh, i mean ruler that's it or a piece of wood or whatever just something straight um, and it's it you can paint any sizes another huge benefit I forgot completely that's uh, that benefits number three oh, I'm gonna I can come on come up with like huge benefits so another but this is true this is another huge benefit uh, for example you paint you took 18 by 24 you 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 know you finish your painting and then uh, something is like completely off right and with this I can cut any any part let's say I paint uh, 12 by 24 right and then I figured like you know what it doesn't work I can select whatever you want what you call cropping in the photography right I can crop any anything I want from existing finished painting let's say I see you know what I paint this and one piece is just doesn't belong there all I have to do just room room cut it out to the size of the frame and I'm done by the way I have actually a video of Scott Christensen which I, I study with him and I adore his you know his work there's actually a video one of the, his video and I have it's probably I think it's in, in my studio he uh, he actually went through this he painted something and then he was trying to work out changing some stuff and then he, he, he figured out the stone I mean not stone the rock and the river was like pulling too much attention what he did and he said like you know what let's get rid of it let's get rid of it took a knife cut it now that's working fine and you can see it like wow it's really working fine so that's another huge benefit all right so I can come up with another probably 10 benefits but I'm gonna stop because uh, I want to show you how to actually make the, you know the panels and what materials I'm using so let's jump on materials uh, so materials the materials and tools that you need to have to make your own panels by the way if you are after all, all of this uh, if you'd like eh, you know what I don't really feel comfortable uh, getting those panels uh, don't worry about this open studio D got it for you on my uh, site probably within two weeks uh, I will have a shop and uh, I will start actually selling the panels so if you need some panels and you want to order I'm not gonna uh, you know sell 12 by 6 by 8 or you know 9 by any, any sizes I'm gonna sell 18 by 24 and you can cut any sizes you want all right so this is another kind of benefit <laughs> and trust me I'm not trying to make money uh, you know doing this and making one dollar 
it is not you know uh, a money maker <laughs> so uh, it, if it this is even not going to you know help me uh, so why I'm doing that then I guess I just love you guys and I just want to help you uh, <laughs> start painting uh, and have all these benefits all right so um, this will be available probably in a couple weeks uh, maybe not a couple maybe a little bit more because next week I'm going to another competition and then I will have Two weeks break so i may work on my side just to put you know the shop and put just it will be one size or maybe two sizes two sizes all right so anyway let's go to let's jump to materials so materials uh the first materials and main material is the gator board so this is a quarter inch gator board and it comes with two surfaces uh gluing surfaces so one and this is this board and all the materials will be listed in description so you can uh, open the description and see where to buy and what to buy so this is a gator board with self uh, adhesive uh, site so it's actually called self adhesive mounting board all you have to do just peel this i don't want to peel it because i don't want to get any any dust inside so basically you're peeling this and there's a self adhesive um archival glue or self adhesive side basically you it, and it's it's a hell uh, or at least they um, they guarantee that this is a hell so we will see in 100 years all right so this is a gator board um, this is and you can buy different sizes I would recommend buying only two sizes um, or actually even one size and then cut it and prepare for next i'll explain so this is 18 by 24 self adhesive uh, you can buy the same 18 by 24 not uh, without any uh, self adhesive surfaces just straightforward white uh, gator board the reason why i'm buying white they are actually are available in black color but when you go to plain air competitions and you have to stamp your canvases and Try to stamp it on the black. Let me know how it works. Okay, <laughs> so that's the reason why it's white color. It's because you you know you can you can stamp it, and you probably saw it on my previous video, uh, coastal plein air uh, competition. I normally take uh, I don't have to take a, a bunch of you know uh, uh, panels. I would just take four or five of these panels, and I'll ask um, the person who is putting stamps just stamp it one two three four five six so two on the right side of the panel two in the center and two on the left side and i can cut any sizes and i can guarantee the stamp will be on your panel all right it's a very simple um so this is one size uh, 18 by 24 uh, self-adhesive or I normally buy this and this is 24 by 36 so basically this is a this 18 by 24 is a half of this so you can buy this is what majority of time i'm buying actually 24 by 36 and this is not self adhesive this is just gator board straightforward gator board uh, you can buy them in self adhesive or straightforward so uh, for uh, like winter i have time i, I will use um, this without self adhesive side and I will use a glue and I will show you what glue I'm using and how to how to glue it so this is just kind of for, for winter and even this this is probably the biggest size you can uh, quarter inch uh, gator board that you can use for painting and it's not gonna work I can guarantee if you want to paint something larger then I will recommend going with instead of half inch I mean quarter inch go with half inch just 30 more sturdy all right so 24 by 36 you know plain board or uh, 18 by 24 self adhesive so my 18 by 24 which is a half of the uh, 24 by 36 uh is self adhesive and this is my emergency kind of this is what i uh normally have in my studio and i will use um uh, the linen to glue it on top if I need it like immediately so I need to paint tomorrow I don't have to glue it and wait for probably like five six days for glue to you know to seal kind of or to dry and this is I can paint on this right away 
So basically glue it and start painting. So this is my emergency boards and I love it. So the gator board, number one, all right? So gator board. So next um, material that we need, of course, is a roll of, and this is a huge roll, so it's not gonna even fit into, I have to be careful not to, you know, damage my, my light. So this is actually a roll of, you know, I'm touching my light. <laughs> This is a roll of Centurion DLX oil primed linen, okay? It's Centurion and I love this. You can get something else. There is a bunch of different um, uh, linen rolls, surfaces uh, with different teeth uh, or rough or fine. This is kind of in, in the middle, not the word fine. Uh, but it's great for all landscapes and I just accustomed to paint on this uh, surface. So this is lin um, oil prime linen by Centurion DLX. Um, so this is just a huge roll. You know what? I have a ruler. I'm going to measure because I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. So this is 24 and this is another 24. So it's a 48 inches, about 50 inches tall and how many yards I forgot how many yards you can I think you can buy in different uh, sizes different yards so I'm just buying the biggest one to make sure I have enough all right so this is a linen so this is a linen that you have to cut to glue it on that board so what else do you need so this is basically materials so if you decided to glue it I would recommend using um, and I think this is the only Thing that you can use. Uh, this is true archival and it's called Miracle Muck. Everybody knows Miracle Muck. This is a kind of, uh, it's a glue, not a kind of, it's a glue uh, by Raphael's. It's called actually Raphael's Miracle Muck. Um, you dilute this with uh, one to three, so just one part of this and uh, three parts of just water. I do actually one to two, not one to three, one to two, and it's working fine. And it's not really pulling too much. If you use just straight, it's gonna shrink your canvas like crazy. Uh, one to three is drying a little bit longer and it's just watery. Uh, on the gator board, it's sort of kind of uh, not really working fine. So one to two is a really good ratio. So Miracle Mug, Raphael's Miracle Mug. This is like one of the greatest, uh, glue archival true archival glue simple ruler i use a metal aluminum uh, metal ruler uh, then make sure i'm not cutting uh, if you take uh, or use wooden every time you use knife you're cutting a little bit and then <laughs> probably within like six months you you know you cut and your knife is going like like this like a like a saw so uh, you can get this in any like Michaels, any art stores. Uh, I think I got this in Michaels. All right, so this, then you need just simple knife, uh, utility knife, was sharp. Every time I'm cutting, I'm using new blade. Uh, so knife, 100%, and then a roller. Roller. Uh, roller like this, okay. Uh, so this you can buy. Uh, it's, it's called actually J. J roller, I guess, because of J. I'm not sure. So J roller. All right. Uh, you can. This is actually for. Uh, you can buy this in like Home Depot or Lowe's in flooring uh, section. Uh, so don't get it from like art stores because they charge you like crazy like really crazy 40 50 60 dollars you can get this for like 12 dollars it's a secret all right so it's a, a roller j roller actually this is number j 200 b j 200 b all right so you need this and another thing i would strongly recommend and this is my idea um I'm not gonna sell it. Simple. I'm not sure what the, what's the name of this, but you know the, you're using this to just clean your you know dandruffs or hairs or your, like whatever dust. 
Uh, it's just a roll of you know, pieces that you can peel. And I will show you how to use it. Uh, this is a good idea. This is my idea. But it's not a good idea because it's my idea. It's just because it's a good idea. All right, anyway. So let me, um, I don't have, unfortunately, I don't have a table, large, big table uh, to in my studio, in my small studio. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do it on the floor and I'll just move the cameras and I'll show how to do it. And I will do probably just, just one, just to show you how, it, how it's done, okay? And actually I need to do, oh, you know what? I need to do three for my, for next week. So I have two already made, so I need to make another three. So I'm gonna show you just one probably, or maybe two. All right, so let me move the equipment and I will show you how to do it. Okay, so what are we starting from is from, um, from the roll. So what do we have to do? Just unroll it. And you didn't have to have a not, you know, like huge space. Um, yeah, the floor is okay. Let's put it this way. So unroll it. Make sure there's no wrinkles on the can. I mean, on the on the canvas. Then take your gator board um, and place it on your uh, on a linen, and make sure you have about half inch on this side and half, half inch on, at the edge right here and something like this. And then I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make probably half or three eighths uh, here and here. Take the canvas, mark it with your pencil, move it and then I'm using panel like this so this is basically mesonite, and I'm using it to cut my, basically I put it under canvas so I can cut it. And I will just cut it. So basically it's like three eighths. And I'm gonna cut this first. further my board so I can cut remaining part so, like this and then let's move our panel here and we can cut the whole thing. Basically something like this. All right, so this is the first, first piece. And we're gonna put it on the side for right now. And I will take our panel. And what we're going to do is this. I'm gonna place, I'm gonna place the canvas, and not the canvas, the linen upside down. And here, why you need to have, um, and here, why you need to have this. So what do you do with this? You just clean all the particles that are stick to, and I'll show you how, how, you know, how much you're actually picking up. So what it will do, this will clean the surface. So when you put your board, there's no dirt or dust or any loose pieces that can create a bubble. But just go several times, make sure it's clean. And you feel it when it's clean, when you pick up a lot, you feel it because it's rolling easier. All right, look at this. 
a lot of dirt, all right? So this is part number one. Then we take it board and we just peel right here and we just peel yeah, like this. Just peel it out. Don't touch the adhesive part, okay? So all we have to do is peel it completely. Then take your panel and just place one side, this side, and then just put it down, press a little bit. Then let's flip it and you have some bubbles. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna use our roller and we're gonna push those bubbles. So the other normal start from center and I push it out. And you see this? You're pushing it out. Now we're pushing this way. And we're pushing all bubbles out. Don't push too much first time. And the second time, you can push a little bit harder. And Basically, this is it. Then I'll do the corners, just just the corners, and I'm bending bending the. Uh, let me show you. So I do the corner, and instead of going flat, I actually bend the roller a little bit toward the edge, just to make sure my edges are glued. So instead of using like this, let me push it. So I band it a little bit this way, okay? And I'm doing it on carpet. If you have a hard wood floor, that will be even better. So basically this is it, uh, it's already glued, you don't see any bubbles, um, the edges you can do like this, so it's already glued, I can, I can feel it, yep, and now we're gonna flip it, put our board, cutting board, which I need to get probably a bigger one, and we're gonna cut these extra leaves that are sticking out um, and you just basically you just cut it against the gator board so one this is two And the last side is this side. And voila, here's the panel. So this is it. This is how you make a panel. So 
18 by 24 literally in 10 minutes and you can cut four 9 by 12s uh, I mean bunch of stuff you know what um, I'm not gonna go through the geometry how many panels you can cut or you just want a single one um, so very simple not complicated uh, you can use it as a reflector as well another benefit light reflector <laughs> no, I'm kidding so this is how you make your own panels so let me know if you have any questions uh, tools materials whatever just shoot me a comment or shoot me email go to my website and uh, send me uh, a form message and I will reply as soon as I you know as soon as I can and normally I'll reply within probably like 15 20 minutes um, all right so this is it for today if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe new stuff is coming always and i'm uh, having a lot of fun doing this and uh hit the bell hit the like or hit the like hit the bell and if you already subscribed guys thank you very much for watching my videos stay in tune and supporting me so next uh, video will be probably on the road uh, to next uh, plein air competition it will be in charleston south carolina i got some uh, stuff some equipment uh, so I, I think it will be uh, videos will be improved so let me know what you would like to see on this this will be short competition only i think it's only three days or two or three days yes uh, but it's charleston can't compete so let me know and i will see you next time Here we go.